Hello, welcome to another video. Do you ever find that your cell is too small? You can't make enough wine to get drunk enough to survive in the valley? Well, I have a solution for you. This is the Ace Expanded Cellars mod. In this mod, there are six different cellars in which you can, or six designs of cellars you can get. Um, the one I've chosen is the Ace Bicon. A C E R B I C O N. I have no idea. And out of all, this is just the plainest one. The other ones have like a full working, well, I say full working, a blacksmith's um, shop, which is the same as Clint's here. You can't, don't think you can actually use it. And some of them have like cafes slash bar type set up here. Well, you can see on these barrels of the original amount that you could make. That made so much sense. The original amount of wine you could make only one sitting. Um, you can already work out that you have so much more space. You can put casks in all of these rooms. Look, I'll show you. Okay. Ooh, I need to clear out my inventory. You can put a cask in here. You can put casks in here, and you can even put a cask in, guess what, here. So ideally you could fill up the whole room, set up a design, so you can get fruit everywhere, and you'll be able to make a lot of wine and produce. Alternatively, you can set up having wine in one room, and then uh, preserving stuff in another, having tons of furnaces in another, and storing um, stuff in the other one. I personally like this because once again, much the same as like I mentioned the greenhouse mod, I often find I just do not have enough space to do everything. If I've had a good year of crop growing, which after the first year you tend to find it's very easy to get tons of crops, and you want to turn them to artisan goods to get more money, and then you want to, you've made your wine, you've got all these um, drums of ale and stuff and you want to now improve them, you just don't have the room, and also with this you can have a, oops, a back room completely dedicated to just doing um, the improving of alcohol and still have enough room for everything else which means you don't have to buy as many sheds on the farm alternatively you don't have to uh, take up a lot of land outside on point self I did just go through the effort of upgrading my house and it's taken me the best part of the month they say there's no changes outside of the house house cellar and if we got the house there's also no changes to the outside so the house is still the exact same side no different graphical changes you've just got a much 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 bigger room um if i'd thought about this i would have done made up a lovely example of just how much you could make in this room but i haven't so I'm going to come up with a brilliant plan. So if I just get some green wine, uh, we'll just use the basic one. I'm going to fill up these original casks, just so you see how much you can make of it. No, I don't want to drink wine. I do want to drink wine. Why else you can improve it? It's going to be a waste of time if I find out that this isn't. Not to mention this mod, as I say, this, on this particular layout, it clears everything up so you don't have the weird boxes and unusual casks that you would be. Which means all the more space, even without the um, additional space. I cannot find anything to say. Okay, well, let's do fast machine processing casks. And this will speed up the process just a tiny bit. There you go, all done. These bottles do not need to be drank by me. Okay, so that's 33 from the original casks they give you. These are the ones you get when you upgrade the cellar. 
and I mean that's fairly for easily in the here. You could easily add on another three strokes, nine, ten, nine. add on at least another 22 casks in this room. And then you could have the same here, which will make it um, 55. In fact, you could have more than 55 in this room. This room you probably only put, once again, put the 33. And this room, once again, only about 33. But just depends how you set up. Which means you're going to make a lot of money as soon as that's done. And when you've got all those chests completely full up with veg and fruit or booze you haven't yet um, improved that's a lot of money and I'm blabbering again anyway we're just going to go to bed and see um, just how much you get from those singular 33 casks and that's 26,400 and that's with the basic wine I mean, if you use the strawberry or even the fairy, I think that's one. And no doubt you're going to get a lot more money. And this work, this uh, particular setup works really well with a mod I'm going to be showcasing later. Um, so just some secrets and sure so people worked out what mod. But yeah. Anyway, that's it. That's my lovely. Thing and said, there's six other uh, combinations you can use. Uh, combination, six other options you can use. Wait, five. This is the six. The six options in total you can use. We'll go with that instead. So you can just choose whichever one you like. If you want a bit more furniture, or like I say, a black one that actually looks like a Clint's workshop down there, you can have it. If you want a bar up here, like uh, Gus's bar, or what saloon, or a more homely feel. So I'm pretty sure these two rooms are mostly blank, no matter which one you cho choose. So if you do have the additionals in that one or that and that one, you've still got tons of space. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> some of those, whatever you want. I mean, you can comment. I'm terrible and I should stop. You can comment. I'm awesome and I'm awesome. I don't care. Bye.